Let's talk salmon trees. Huh. Is that like money trees? No. But it is a perfect place to shave. Um, we have the point. Boom. And we're trying to... Whoa. Is there two M's in symmetric? Uh, I'm not sure. We're talking about reflections of the point. Five, four. First, we want to see the x-axis symmetry. If I go and I look at that point, if I have x-axis symmetry, that would be if I'm folding across the x-axis. This is the x-axis, that's the y-axis. So, 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 if I smash that down there, boom, that points right there, boom, x-axis symmetry. Now, oh na na, what's its name? We see, we see, we see, our x is gonna be the same, because it's still five. But what's our new y? I heard minus four was the new y. So, if I'm looking at x-axis symmetry, I have the opposite of y. So my x-axis symmetry for that point is five, four. Five minus four, sure. Now, by the way, let's look at this y. If I have y sem symmetry, I have a reflection across y. A reflection across y. So I go and I take that guy and I put him right on over here, boom. And then name that point. Oh, look at our, f oh, that's minus five and four, sure. So what do I do? I make the five negative. It has the same y, but I reflect it across the y-axis to get y symmetry, and that's y. My point is minus five, four, sure. So now we're looking for origin symmetry. We reflect across y, then we reflect across x, meaning it's opposite of both. So if I'm looking for origin symmetry for this guy, that's going to be a minus 5 and a minus 4, sure, because they change both the x's and the y's for origin symmetry. So that's minus 5, minus 4. So that same point reflected across the y and then across the x is minus 5, minus 4. So then we have those points, and um, I think I've made my point. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.